tactical shotgun and a skull shotgunners ironers tacticus so basically drac tried cutting accu strike darts into slugs what a great nerf hack Accu strike slug darts. Viable they were. Just a jolt wished he thought of that. I thought he had such a good thing going there that I took it further. The product of this nerf hack with Accu strike slug darts. Smallest shotgun in the world. And the shotgunniest. The next nerf hack with Accu strike slug darts was to be fully automatic nerf machine shotguns. What if I did the nerf Accu strike dark slug thing, but with mega darts? The most recent nerf hack Accu strike slug darts go mega. Real nerf shotguns. Not like the mega double breach. Lies! Much more went into that video behind the scenes than you would realise. Although I gotta admit I'm curious. No, I have no idea why I thought that would work. I just tried it off camera and one of these seemed to get stuck all the way down the tube. Didn't work but don't regret it. Now there's a thought. Worker might make Mega Stefan Max one day. Wouldn't that be amazing? But I digress. Well, there's one we haven't tried yet. I think there is a certain poeticness about ending the AccuStrike slug dart thing on the blaster which started the AccuStrike dart thing off. The first ever AccuStrike blaster to grace our shelves. Not just a Spectre reshell, of course. Makeover! Yay! But first, the Falcon Fire! Doopy doopy doopa. For those of you who are interested, ending up taking this bit right here out, Bashing the air restrictor out with a screwdriver and a hammer. A beautiful flowery hammer! Manly! Gonna double spring with the original spring and a night finder spring. Think that's a night finder spring. I'm gonna stick some hot glue in that massive amount of dead space right there. And I'm gonna put some insulating tape over that hole there. It's like they didn't want this blaster to have any power. That's that covered up. Hot glue goodness. Put that little rubber bit back there back on. Perfect. Now it's gotta let that dry. This spring just flew out and attacked me, and I've got no idea where it is now. But it could be like the appendix. It could turn out you don't really need it anyway. I mean, how did they discover that? Did they just do an operation, forget to put everything back, and then, uh, hey, dude, so we forgot to put this back in, but turns out you don't need it. Maybe I should open up my own medical practice. You'll be all right without that bit. Uh, stick some duct tape on, you'll be fine. They've fallen unconscious. Get the lipo. Liposuction. Turns out that you might need that spring after all. Thankfully, I just stepped on it. Ladies and gentlemen, this spring is not like the appendix. Let's try again. Wow, well you've got to pull that trigger something chronic, but that sure hits hard now. Let's try with Accu slugs. <laughs> Fantastic. This takes an absolute age to load up and to fire, but it's actually quite a lot of fun. And they're actually hitting pretty darn hard. Let's go ahead and give this one a go too. The Sharp Fire, AKA the original Falcon Fire. So first of all, the whole plunger mechanism was much easier to get out in the Sharp Fire than it was in the Falcon Fire. And secondly, this doesn't have a ton of dead space in it. You're doing it the wrong way round, Hasbro. You need to make the dead space in this smaller and these bigger, not the other way round. Quick screwdriver and hammer job later and we're ready to go back in. On reflection, the night finder spring in this really didn't fit that well, so I'm just gonna keep the same spring for this one. Air hole covered up. No need to remove dead space. Was that difficult, Hasbro? Was that difficult? And here we have the sharp fire just loading up now with two AccuStrike slugs. These have got to be incredibly impractical Nerf War blasters, but it's a fun thing to do. <laughs> that was actually pretty accurate, come to think of it. Quite sharp firing. Look at that, straight in there. Incredible. Slightly impressed with the sharp fire's accuracy. These screws are coming out too. I have never experienced a type of blaster where bits have been so willing to leap out all over the place as soon as you open it. It's the spring from this bit again and it leapt out. I felt it hit my hand and it could be anywhere now. The only safe way to open those blasters has got to be in some kind of a glass square box like they have in the labs. Why couldn't your springs be like neon or something? Then it'd be easier to find. Everything else is brightly coloured, but these bits don't jump out all over the floor when you open the blaster. Put that somewhere safe now. What to jump out of there for no reason? Why don't you just start making your darts transparent as well? This one also had less dead space, by the way. Just saying. Well, we put it back together, including all the springs, to see if it works. Result. And the thing about the eye on fire is, it's not just a regular, normal, Nerf shotgun. That was weird. That was like the most bizarre spread ever, like one up there, one down there. That was more like it. I kind of liked it weird. The thing is that of all the blasters in this video, this one has the most combo ability. Or no, combo potential, however you want to say it. 
which makes it a supreme tactical shotgun. Targeting beamage, ammo storage, tactical hand, stability is key, stocky stop, red dot sighted, tactical old school shield goodness, and a scope. Now those of you who've watched my videos for a while will know that something happened with the Mega Mastodon a little while back. This actually looks like some kind of a dinosaur. The one-eyed shotgunner's Ionus Tacticus makes its way across the parched Havana. Or Savannah. I'm not sure which one's correct. They both sound fairly naturey. This particular breed stores AccuStrike slugs in its tail. Has a red dot sight to help it zero in on its prey. Its long snout is indicative of high-class sniping ability. Faced with such a terrifying predator, the deploy retreats once again into its burrow. Endowed with bioluminescence, it targets its prey with this green light, and sometimes these red ones. Just because nature and science. It is believed the crest helps it defend itself against attack from predators and in conflict resolution over territory and mates. Like the Macedonus Megaris and the Squawcus Alphus, this specimen fires darts from its snout. Because it is of the genus Accustrikus Dartus Sluggus, it fires Accustrike slugs, making it a shotgunner's nerfus thingamibobus. This specimen is blessed with a nerf bayonet and a camera to post its exploits on such media as YouTube. I have no idea what HD stands for. Mother Nature has endowed this specimen with a crest resembling a series of scopes. After much research, paleontologists have come to the conclusion that the reason for this is tactics bra tactics. Can you feel the tactics, my metaphorical brethren? Just the tip, just the tip. Whoopity whoopity whoop whoop. Meanwhile, a small swarm of Spinerus fidgetus flutter gracefully in the evening breeze. The bounteous surprises of Mother Nature seem to know no bounds. Thankfully, the Strikus Accus Shotgunus Ionus has evolved protection against the unpredictable descents of the Fidgetus Spinitus. A form now this is all well and good, but there's just one more Nerf shotgun we need to try. The Alpha Squawk. Let's remove some dart posts and get this going on. Dart posts removed and I filed down the edges a little bit so that that rubber foamy sealy thing doesn't get cut up. And now we get to use the squidgy handle of the Alpha Hawk to fire off some AccuStrike slug darts. Did you see that shot? That one actually stuck in there, that was amazing. It's worth mentioning that this is actually modified, this has got a five kilogram spring in it, as well as now having the dart post removed. Wow. That has some serious power behind it. That's incredible. Okay, now something interesting there. The same sort of problem that was happening with the Mega Blasters when I used them with the AccuStrike darts is now happening with this as well. And the darts are sometimes struggling to get out past this little kind of bit here. There are little edges for the darts to snag on, so I guess the Alpha Hawk is again a fun but somewhat inconsistent AccuStrike Nerf Slug Dart Blaster. Sure as heck, not going to stop me from loading it up and firing them off again though. <laughs> well, it didn't go inside, but it certainly was accurate. It hit round about there-ish. I've got to say, AccuStrike slug darts from the Alpha Squawk seem to be pretty darn accurate. In this video, we've discovered the sharpest AccuStrike shotgun, the falconist AccuStrike dart slug shotgun, and the dinosauriest, and the squawkiest. What's your favourite shotgun this video? Please comment. What's in the stock? Oh my goodness, it's an infestation! They're breeding 